Good evening, everyone. A double shooting in the city of Rochester has claimed the life of one 16-year-old girl and another 18-year-old was hospitalized with gunshot wounds. Tonight, Rochester police have identified the 16-year-old as Zahira Smith. Police say she was struck by gunfire while attending a birthday party on Emerson Street last night. Alex Love joins us now from the newsroom with more on this. Alex. It's very tragic, Amel. 16-year-old Zahira Smith was attending a Sweet 16 birthday party in the 200 block of Emerson Street when police say shots rang out from a vacant lot across the street. She was pronounced dead at the scene while another 18-year-old woman was taken to Strong. This was a, a, a baby. Another weekend, another shooting in Rochester, this time taking the life of a 16-year-old girl, sending Pathways to Peace out to help the family and neighbors mourn. Console. Uh, we have water, tissue. Uh, we just engage the crowd. Uh, we talk to uh, young people or young adults that may be affected by this, that are affected by it. I want to reassure the community at large that there are supports out here. Zahira Smith was attending a birthday party at a home on Emerson Street Saturday night when around 10 o'clock shots were fired from a vacant lot across the street. Police say another group by the home returned fire as Smith and the 18 year old woman were struck. Anthony Hall with Pathways to Peace stresses their organization can help solve disputes before guns get involved. Our focus is to make sure there's no retaliatory um, issue um, and also to make sure that folks understand that this was a cowardly act and this individual needs to be apprehended and off the streets. After officers arrived on scene, a foot chase began with members in the group who returned fire. During this course, they arrested 18-year-old Amir Andrews and charged him with criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree, plus having illegal round capacity. Neighbors like Amanda Mangino are fed up with gun violence like this plaguing the city. God forbid if my kids were out here, I have a four, I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old that just turned three, and if my kids were out here, they would have been dead because they like to run around too much. As soon as the gunshot came towards my window, I ran. Members of the Neighborhood Association told us they want parents of the Emerson community to sit down with their children and have a serious talk about gun violence to start a conversation so this type of crime comes to a stop. The family of Zahira Smith also held a vigil outside the home where this happened, but asked it be done in private. Amel? Alex, thank you. Zahira Smith was a student at a Rochester City School District High School. Superintendent Leslie Myers Small wrote in a statement in part, quote, I am devastated that young lives continue to end abruptly because of gun violence. We must come together as a community to protect our children from this, these senseless acts that take them from us far too soon. Another bright future has been senselessly ended. The superintendent goes on to say the district's trauma and grief team will be available to, to assist students as they grapple with this news. This is is the city of Rochester's 29th homicide to date so far this year.